right now we're on a boat and we went out from Stony Brook, Southampton. So we study everything from weather patterns to you know the, the movement of the ocean you know, and everything in between. We try and teach the students and the general public you know just the importance of the bay and bringing everything to a healthy level so it's sustainable for everything, not just not just for you know the animals that are here, but for ourselves. We tested to see the salinity and the temperature of the water. This is going to let us know uh, some of the water chemistry right off the bat. Just lower that just below the surface of the water. Now, are we seeing much difference in any of the values? Really nothing. We pulled up mud from the bottom of the bay. Awesome, thank you. All right. Oh, he did a great job. And mush it around in your fingers. What is it? Is it rough? It's very smooth, right? Yeah. It's a lot of sulfides, and this is all anoxic. This has zero oxygen in it. Right now, the net is out, and we're trying to see what we collect. You want to keep pace with the other line, though. You don't want to go too fast. Slow down a little bit. There you go. Tote! We're going to need the tote. Oh, that's the tote forward. We saw some flounders. Wow. So when a flounder first hatches, it has an eye on each side of its head. And as it develops, It'll slowly rotate its body to lay down. And the eye that's down here spins around and comes up to the top. So it's really a fish that's laying on its side with two eyes on the same side. We saw spider crabs, hermit crabs, sea robins. Her head is also full of spines. That's why I grabbed them quickly so you guys didn't get spined. But they're completely harmless. You want to hold them? Some of the other things that we, we study is ocean acidification. It's a big effect where burning of fossil fuels comes back to the ocean, bringing the pH down. It's a global problem, it's not just here in Shinnecock.